Schwartz here with Marty Music. We're gonna learn Can't You See, a classic. Gonna show you that finger picking intro, give you some soloing tips for the electric as well. Hope you guys dig it. Also, if you haven't yet, I really appreciate you subscribing here to the Marty Music YouTube channel. It does help me out and I do appreciate it. So thank you. All right, let's learn this thing. All right, I'm gonna begin with the chord structure. Take a D major chord. And there's gonna be times where you're adding your pinky. Just classic D major stuff, but let's start with the chords. D. C add nine, and there's gonna be different ways to voice it. I'm doing that. So third fret on the A string, that ring finger is still on the third fret of the B string from the D chord. you can add in that intro, there's gonna be a pinky on that third fret high E. So D, G add nine, pinky off, then a G chord, and you don't really hear the high E on the G. I'm playing it like that, which is, you know, ring finger on the third, middle finger on the second. So the lick can get in there, which is on the second fret of the D and the A string. So D, C and nine, G, back to D. All right, now I'm gonna try and show you the patterns so you can learn it of that intro. So we're gonna start with the open D with the thumb, then the B string, we're holding the D chord, and then the B string with the index finger then the G with the thumb. Just like that. Then I'm hitting the high E, and I'm using my right middle finger for that. Then I'm hitting the B with my index. It's all together. Back to the open D. Now some of these notes are accented and some of these notes are almost ghost notes. Um, so you're gonna wanna try and play along to get the, which ones are accented more. Finally, third fret high E, and I'm picking it with my right middle finger. So. So 
So after the high E, we hit the G string with our thumb, so. Those are right next to each other, the third on the high E and the thumb with the G. So after we hit that second fret G with our right thumb, we go back to the high E with our middle finger, but it's back to that second fret. Then the B string. back to the open D with the thumb. So, second fret, third fret B, open D. Then, B, G, Index thumb. So B, G, high E. Finally, that's the pattern for D. All right, next we have that C add nine and you're gonna hit the open A string. Open three. So after that, you're gonna hit the open D So then a quick G with the thumb. Then the high E with the middle finger. Then the B string with the index. and then the open D finally, even though I'm still holding that. Because it's still ringing out, because it's a lot faster than that. You know, that is ringing out as you're picking. So it's almost like a bass player going do boom, da da do da da do da da while that's ringing out. And then it's a pinch where you're pinching with the right hand is what that means. And so the thumbs on the D string, pinky comes down to the third fret high E and you pinch all the strings from the D. You're not pinching that one, but it's... And I'm just hitting it once like that, and then once with the pinky off. So from the top.
Now it's more of a strum. And I'm just using my thumb. So then I'm hammering with my middle finger as I hold the G, that second fret D string. Then open, I mean there's picking in between, but the lick is. So just hammering, da -dee, and then open D, da, then second fret A. So what's going on there, it's another pinch situation, but thumb on the D note, and then pinch that third fret, third fret of high E with that D chord, back to the D though. And then the second pinch is with the pinky off. So from that G chord. And then when it comes in on the one is hammered on that back to the D. Now on that G chord, especially like in the flute soloing and whatnot, it's that flute's playing that seventh on that G. But the guitar, you don't really hear it, but it, you know, it could be there if you're playing at a open mic night or whatever, you could get that note in there to help a little bit with some of the notes you wanna sing. Okay, so that intro. So what I'm doing there, this is where those like, what what is he accenting, accenting and what he's not? And I played it really slow to hear if I hear uh, a B string in there on the, and I do hear a B note in there. It's way quieter than the G, but it is in there. So I'm thinking of it as, I hammer that, you know, I'm holding the G chord. And so I hammer that and then with my, index and then middle I'm hitting G B but that B on the recording is barely there I mean he might and then the open D and then the G So D, G open. And I'm just going. second fret.
now if you can play up to that point, then the rest of the song you could play, because really what happens from there are just variations of, especially the, you know. If I just hold my pinky down in different combinations. And then that C add nine, you can play a full C add nine like that. There's a time where I'm hearing that second fret that comes from the D chord over that. Uh, but I mean, you can even go to that. Another option is just take the elements and just make it a strum song. You can still get a lot of that. And then as far as the electric guitar, he's using, the guitar solos are using the D major pentatonic scale. It's the same notes as the B minor pentatonic scale. Uh, you can start right here, pinky on the root, D. So that's 10th fret, and then play that pentatonic. So it's the B minor pentatonic, but the starting notes that feel like home bass are the D notes. So 10th fret E, 7th fret G, and then 10th fret high E again. Now there's the extended run for that. Exact same, so that's all based on the E root, and then you have the same thing based on the A root. Here's the progression. Now that was, I just went straight minor pentatonic for a second there. But I resolved it still to the major third of the D major chord. Uh, because when it goes, you know, very D major pentatonic. Still pretty much, and still pretty much, but hear that G7.
guys enjoyed the lesson. Thanks again for uh, hanging out for a while. Uh, if you haven't yet, I appreciate you subscribing to the YouTube channel right here. And also feel free to request stuff you'd like to see in the comments below. Thanks again. We'll see you later.